Welcome to another unit in this SQL course. In the previous session, I just introduced the idea that if I want to, well, use aliases, use different names for the tables I'm working with, I can simply write in the from part, well, use the table employees, but in the course of the query, simply call this E. Something similar can be done if I want to not only extract the data, but maybe use different names for the extracted columns in my output. Here, if I take a look, this query actually has the same column names as the original data. That's because I'm just extracting it as is. If, however, for example, you work with the English language version, but have to prepare the output for someone who's not an English speaker, you might use a translation for this. So for example, if you want to use the German term for first names, but still not change the original table, you could simply go and after this first name, also put an S and then type in the name you want to use here. We could use this with those quotation marks. We could go, for example, as Forname. Just save this, switch to data view. But then we would have those quotation marks in the upper part. If you want to avoid those, do the same as we did with our names which contain spaces. Simply put all of this in brackets. Again, not the round ones, but the cornered ones. Save this, switch to data view, and you see that's exactly the name, the way you typed it in. So we could do this for last name as well. We could change this as well with S, and then we use the brackets again, put in a translation for this. Save, switch to data view, and I see it changed the names of all two columns. So I give, can give new names to columns to variables I extract from previously existing tables without having to change the tables as such. And well, that's then already I wanted to talk about. So I hope you enjoyed this short session. I say goodbye and see you next time.